Let's look at the character of Mark Antony in the play Julius Caesar. Now, Mark Antony is a really interesting character. He is a very close friend and confidant of Julius Caesar. In fact, he is the person that basically told him not to worry too much about the threat of Cassius, which was wrong and incorrect. Now, whilst on the one hand, we realize that he's a very close friend, very close confidant, and of course, he mourns very heavily when Julius Caesar is killed and assassinated. We also learn that he is a very powerful military leader, but also he's known for his very sensitive sensuous living. In fact, Shakespeare separately writes a play about him and his affair with Cleopatra in Antony and Cleopatra, which is a separate play. However, within this place, so within Julius Caesar, he is also presented to be a very powerful military leader. Of course, him and Octavius Caesar are the ones that ultimately also defeat Brutus's army and take over and establish what is called a triumvirate after Julius Caesar's death, which is basically a leadership that's led by Mark Antony, Octavius Caesar and Lepidus, okay? Now, if you're writing about Julius Caesar, the play, and of course, if you're writing about the different characters, Mark Antony is a significant character to write about. Therefore, you do need to become very confident with key quotations relating to his character. So as you can see behind me, I have uh, selected the main quotations to bear in mind when writing about Mark Antony's character and of course also the keyword level analysis that you need to do. So let's go over it. Now the first quotation is relating to when Julius Caesar is basically confiding in Mark Antony and basically saying he really doesn't trust Cassius's character and Mark Antony basically dissuades him. He states, fear him not Caesar, he's not dangerous. Now Bear in mind in terms of word level analysis, and this is actually a structural point you can do. Firstly, Mark Antony talks to Caesar using this imperative sentence, fear him not. He's basically saying, don't worry too much. You're being very, you know, fearful. You're being almost paranoid of this character within the Senate. Of course, this is an incorrect assessment to make because ultimately they do form a plot led by Brutus against Julius Caesar. So his advice is wrong. And of course, also the way he mourns Julius Caesar's death perhaps reflects the guilt that he feels in this incorrect advice. Now, the second quotation that you need to be, be aware of when it comes to Mark Antony's characters when he states, Oh, pardon me, thou bleeding piece of earth, that I am meek and gentle with these butchers. Now, this is a really powerful exclamatory sentence. This is after the killing of Julius Caesar takes place, and he is so angry at these people who killed him, these senators that killed him, and what he sees as a really huge betrayal. Now, here, of course, we can see that he's very uh, loyal, even to the memory of Julius Caesar after he dies. And this is emphasized firstly through the fact that this is an exclamatory sentence, which is showing him really speaking very passionately. He's so angry that they ended up killing Julius Caesar. Also, the other word level analysis you want to do is a personification of the earth. So the earth pardoning him for not being even more angry. And of course, the earth is personified as bleeding. Of course, Julius Caesar's death being uh, revealed as almost this earth shattering event that's happened. It's so momentous that even the earth itself is bleeding. Now, the third quotation to bear in mind for Mark Antony's character is, of course, his very, very famous piece of oration. Of course, he's also known as a very good orator, a very good speaker. This is his friends, Romans and countrymen's speech when he persuades Brutus to let him speak first at Caesar's funeral. And of course, it's this speech that turns all popular opinion against Brutus and he has to flee. Now, the first quotation, of course, and this is tied to the name of the speech that Mark Antony gives, this very rousing speech is, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Now, this is a very powerful piece of rhetoric. And what you want to focus on firstly with this quotation is the rule of three, friends, Romans, and countrymen being listed. Here we can see that Mark Antony is a very powerful orator. And of course, he is about to set up the argument that uh, Brutus and Cassius were wrong in killing Julius Caesar. Now, the next quotation taken from the same speech is when he states, yet Brutus says he was ambitious and Brutus is an honorable man. Now, here we can see there is a lot of dramatic irony where here he's basically saying, oh, you know, Brutus is basically saying that Caesar, you know, he was too ambitious. He's given that as an example uh, and as a reason why he ended up stabbing and having uh, Julius Caesar killed by all of these other senators. But, you know, I think Brutus is also definitely an honorable man. He's being very ironic here. He's obviously showing and indicating the opposite. He believes Brutus's action was very dishonorable and it was an act of betrayal against Julius Caesar. 
Now here the word level analysis you want to focus on is the repetition of the name Brutus, which shows Mark Antony is incensed, he's angry by Brutus's action. Also, you want to focus on the caesura here, okay? It creates a really dramatic pause. Remember, caesura means a midline pause within a sentence. Now, the next quotation to bear in mind for Mark Antony's character within the play is, again, still taken from the same speech. This is now him, he's saying, it's wrong that Brutus and these guys suspected Julius Caesar of being ambitious because he wasn't, because he states, I thrice presented him a kingly crown, which he did thrice refuse. He's basically saying, look, I presented Julius Caesar on uh, the event of Lupercal. I presented him the kingly crown, the crown that would make him an emperor three times. And three times Julius Caesar said, no, I don't be an emperor. I don't have those ambitions. So of course here he's building the case and rousing the crowd. The crowd of course ultimately gets really angry and says, you know, Brutus made the wrong decision decision and it was wrong to kill Caesar and they run him off okay now the word love analysis you want to do here is firstly the repetition of the words thrice okay so this is a really powerful rhetorical device that we see here also the other word love analysis you want to do is the alliteration of H and him and he and of course this shows just how emphatic Mark Antony is when he's making his point again this ties into how powerful he is as an orator orator again meaning speaker the other quotation to bear in mind for Mark Antony's character is when he states, and this is now when he is talking to Octavius in terms of how are they going to establish the state of Rome? How is the leadership going to be like? And this is when he states, we can see he's a little bit cunning because he can see that Lepidus, who's another senator in Rome, is very popular and is telling Octavius Caesar, look, we need to have him kind of be part of our triumvirate. Triumvirate means a three-man rule. However, all we're just going to do is just use him, um, you know, take him on so that other people will be on our side and, you know, we can establish ourselves. But then once we've taken him on, we use him and then throw him away. We're going to then kick him out of the triumvirate. And he says, and he illustrates this by stating, to ease ourselves of divers, slanderous, uh, slanderous loads, he shall but bear them as the ass bears gold. Right? Ass here means um, a donkey, right? As a donkey carries a heavy load. Now, again, as I mentioned here, we can see that he's a little bit cunning, a little bit manipulative. He wants to use Lepidus just to establish his power and his legitimacy in Rome, as well as Octavius Caesar's legitimacy and power. But then once they've used him, once they've kind of taken all the support that goes with him, they'll then throw him out, okay? He's gonna bring in lots of um, kind of, he's gonna basically carry the load, but then once he's no longer useful, like the way a donkey can no longer be useful, we cast him aside, okay? Now here, the word level analysis you want to do is firstly, the metaphor slanderous load and also of course the simile as the R spares gold right um, or as the R spares gold and of course again remember this relates to a donkey again here we can see that he's a little bit cunning and a little bit manipulative as a character okay and of course that is needed as a political trait so we can see that he's actually quite a good politician now the final quotation to bear in mind for uh, Mark Antony's character is when he, uh, you know, he faces Brutus and the guys who uh, basically betrayed uh, Caesar in war. And he states, villains, you did not so when your vile daggers hacked one another in the sides of Caesar. So of course here he's basically saying, you know, you guys deserve to lose, you guys also deserve death because you weren't thinking about this and how terrible your actions would be when you were betraying and killing and stabbing Caesar, okay? Now, the alliteration here, the, or rather the word level analysis you want to focus on here is the alliteration of V in villainous and uh, vile. And of course, the violent verb here, hacked, where basically he is talking about the really violent, terrible actions that they inflicted upon Caesar by stabbing him, okay? So we can see that Mark Antony really remains loyal to the memory of Caesar. And we can see, of course, he's a very powerful leader. He's a very powerful orator. In fact, um, it's arguably his speech, Friends, Romans and Countrymen speech is seen as one of the greatest pieces of rhetoric. Of course, that's what riles everybody up to um, get Brutus uh, be seen as unpopular and they have to basically flee the state of Rome. So that's it when it comes to the character of Mark Antony. And of course, do bear in mind when you're um, using any of these quotations, it's very important to add word level analysis.